What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors at Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we just stopped off from the test drive to do a walk around video on this 1968 Chevelle. Car has been great so far on the test drive. Definitely uh, want y'all to check out that video. This paint job looks awesome on this thing. I wiped it down earlier with a chamois and I was just kind of admiring the pearly white. It's got a really good shine. The bumpers are nice and shiny. This car just got a good look to it. If you don't like the white wheels, we do have different sets of wheels we can change out at the lot. It has been lowered a little bit. Both bumpers have been replaced on this one. It does have a 350 in it with a mild cam. I think there were some Holly valve covers on it. We'll go ahead and pop the hood here in a second, halfway through the video. If you're new to the page, hit that subscribe button. We post cars like this every single day. All we deal in is classic American muscle cars. You can check us out at maplemotors.com for more information, detailed pics and all. A lot of the trim has been replaced on this car as well. Uh, mirrors have been replaced. Looks like the door handles. Even the little 350 on the side looks new. We'll go ahead and start up here in the front. This car is in great shape. And I'm not just saying that. We're going to look around. I'm going to try to find some stuff wrong with it. Any flaws that I can find on here, you will know about. There is a slight little dent in the front bumper there. It's very small. Front disc brakes on this one. Set of Koi wheels have been powder coated white. A little chip on the fender there. A little chip there in the corner of the door. Try to get my shadow out of the video here. There's not very many flaws on this car. Got a magnet tag stuck on the bumper there. That nice new bumper they put on. Uh, looks like a little dent in the trim here. I'm just looking for stuff, guys. That ain't even a big deal, but... I will be doing some undercar shots towards the end of this video. And if you're out of state, I can ship this car to you. We have a transport company we use. Also have finance options available. Little chip in the door there. Looks like they opened it into something. Bubble in the paint. Right behind the driver's door. And it ain't perfectly lined up on the driver's door. It's kind of hanging just a hair. I will have to flip the camera around to open this hood. So if y'all give me just a second, I'll get it done. Pull down here, hood pops up. I'm gonna flip y'all upside down. Pull the hood up here. Like I said, 350, I looked at the numbers on the back of the motor. This one's got an aluminum radiator, power steering, which is very smooth and tight. Uh, aftermarket exhaust, disc brakes in the front. Or is this Edelbrock? No. Competition series. All I know is it runs good. It looks like Edelbrock. Weber. The Weber carb there. Hood's painted black up underneath, and that gives it a pretty good look. 
It's nice and clean. I'll grab the keys out of the car. We're going to pop the trunk. Oh, it looks like our door handle came off here. That door handle looks new. The pin's still in it. I wonder if it'll just pop back on here. Yep. There we go. When it comes up and down nice and easy. I wonder why that came off. Somebody must have not pushed it on all the way. Trunk doesn't look too bad. A little bit of moisture in here, I believe. Yeah. A little bit of moisture is getting down in the trunk. It's a very thin weather stripping around. But it feels new. Huh. Let's see if I can find out where it's coming from. Uh, got some lines over here coming down the fenders. And there's water right here. Yep. So it's coming from the back window. Majority of the time when it's leaking down those fenders there it's coming from the trim under the back window and needs to be taken out and resealed let's look up in here looks like they cut that out at one point maybe to put a bigger speaker in but for the most part it's nice and solid so that's not bad and the trunk's not all rusted out but it did have some moisture in it so we're gonna have to take it back and Wipe it out. This car is just really clean all over. I'm really liking it. Looks like a uh, fairly new weather stripping around the door. The panel looks good. Bottom of the door. Very clean. Nice and pearly white carpet's been replaced in this car seats have definitely been replaced there you have a uh, more cushion than normal a whole lot in the backs back seats in good shape headliner's not bad a little needs to be stretched out a little bit back here but you could tell it's new and that's the good one too see the lines and stuff in it i love that design got a grant steering wheel in here we're gonna go ahead and sit down here start her up Starts up nice and easy. Oil pressure is at, uh, looks like, I'd say around 40, 45. Engine temp, 180. And we have been doing a lot of driving. The uh, heater blows, no AC on this one. I don't believe the gas gauge works. It hasn't moved from there. There is a hazy small tack that works right in the center of the dash that I missed as soon as we started the test drive video. Showing 42,000 miles, does have a brake light on. Probably need to check the fluid. So far, so good on the brakes. When I hit them earlier, they stopped fast. Dash looks good. Wipers work. Horn's not hooked up. I've seen too many Grant steering wheels installed. I think you had to buy a horn uh, adapter kit for them but I've seen a bunch of them installed without the horn working. Uh, looks like some stuff I'm gonna need to throw away from the last owner. Guess my detail guy missed that. Definitely got a good sound to it. Motor's nice and quiet. shut the hood it comes down easy I mean, i'm just barely pushing it but when you get it down here it does have a tough spring in there so you gotta push it down pretty hard right there at the end all right 
I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some undercarriage shots. Guys, if you like the video production here, I'm using a GoPro 7. I'll put it down in the description. You can buy the same GoPro that I have. I even put a link directly to where you can buy it. It's on Amazon. That's where I get most of my stuff. So, But this is a GoPro 7 Black. It's got all the features that I need. So I'm gonna give y'all some undercarriage shots. We're gonna start in the front here. And move over here to the driver's side. Now to the rear. Passenger side. If you want any more pictures of the underside or just period of the car, you can jump on maplemotors.com. Close to 100 pictures of every car on the lot. Finance options available on there as well. Transportation, I can get these cars shipped straight to your house. We have wheels, tires, parts, and accessories on there. So if you don't like these wheels, you can change that out. Also get you a different steering wheel before you leave. You can do any of that with us up here. So check the website, make sure this car is still available. Any cars that I sell, I'll leave the videos up on YouTube, but I'll mark the video as sold. And I'll tell you what we sold it for. So I do appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check that website out, and thanks again, guys. We're going to get back started on the test drive. Down in the right corner here, you can join us on the test drive and see how this car runs and drives. Y'all have a good one.